It's a challenge to capture silence or nothingness in art, something that is beyond our active mind or senses. As an artist, I was inspired by Painswick and the yew trees when I visited the churchyard in 1991. When I saw the avenues of trees receding into the distance, it pulled my attention through the trees into the deep space. This created a settled feeling in me, similar to my transcendental meditation practice. My drawings are literal and are actually what I see. Therefore, they must be drawn on location rather than from photographs, which cannot capture the spatial complexity of the trees. I try and harmonize opposite values, deep space and intense surface embossing. This is done by working with a limited range of hard pencils and pressing hard to create mid and dark tones. Underneath the yew trees is an unbelievable web of tree boughs. There is so much information that I am forced to work realistically in order to understand and maneuver visually throughout the trees while drawing. This is why I keep returning to Painswick. I build up the drawings layer by layer, which can take over 350 hours. Spending this amount of time drawing, I have become very familiar and intimate with the trees. To me, the trees are like people. I feel their being, their energy. In my work, I express what they represent to me spiritually. In my Yew Tree series, I am creating work that is built up layer by layer, work that refines the viewer's attention or awareness. This is transcending, moving our mind from the expressed to the subtle. I love these trees, and I am discovering deeper and deeper levels of their meaning and symbolism. It's an ongoing relationship, which brings me great joy and nourishes my creativity. <laughs>